All right, Terry. Oh, here's what I got done so far, okay? Um, I, I unhooked my uh, radio um, downstairs in the basement. And uh, I got it all uh, figured out how I'm going to set it up. Um, I do not know if I need to run a SWR meter while mobile. Um, <clears throat> I don't know that. Um, if I do, I do have the cables. I just have to get a power supply for my SWR meter. Can't find my power supply. Um, in any case, I'm going to put the radio under here. I'm going to put it under the seat. I've already got uh, one lead run. There's lots of room down here. Lots of room for the tuner and the um, radio. The head. Let me show you that real quick. Sorry, I'm sorry. I got allergies. The head will go. Um, here's the head. And just a minute, I'll connect the head to the 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 um uh what's it called? A um yeah, some kind of base thing. It's uh, a, 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 um, it's, oh man, it's, oh, here we go. I don't know why it's not hooking up. Hang on, hang on. <laughs> I know you want to see what I'm doing so you could help, but uh, you, you can't right now. <laughs> uh, let me put my glasses on, maybe that'll help, huh? <laughs> oh, maybe I'm putting it on. No, I'm not putting it on backwards. No, this is right, that goes there. There you go. Now you can see. <laughs> uh, uh, no. Well, there's going to be a longer cord in here anyway, so I'll get rid of that. There we go. <laughs> if you just get it right, it just goes, it just hooks right up, right? Okay, so here is the Yesu head, A57D, and I'm gonna screw it into the underside of the dash. And from the driver's seat, you can see it's gonna be nice. And I'll have a mic hook, uh, I don't know where, put a mic hook somewhere. So I can have my mic really easily accessible. I have an extension for my mic and an extension for my uh, head so I can separate it from the body of the radio. I'm going to run the cords back and then under the floor mat to under the seat. So, I got my antenna, my HF antenna is coming back, it goes up, it goes back, it runs up right there, and there's the Chameleon multiband HF antenna set up in NVIS configuration. Let me know if I'm too close to the metal there. Uh, the metal is going to be the ground plane, uh, the, the metal rack, I mean. The mount that I made for it has two settings. It has 45 degrees and 90 degrees vertical. So I can just jump out and switch it to vertical if I want to go long range. But in any, uh, it would most normally be in uh, the uh, the uh, v, uh, NVIS mode, as you see here. The tip of the antenna is right there. But when I get the the mill, 
the cha mill it's an extension instead of the whip there the cha mill plugs in and it'll go all the way out to here I'll have a I'll have a, a post coming off here and the cha mill can tie into that it'll be the full length of the truck <laughs> except unless I turn it vertical then it'll be <laughs> uh, 10 feet plus that uh, whip or not the whip but the fiberglass section so 10 it'll be about 15 16 feet tall uh, if I go vertical I don't know what do you think what do you think my man any any pointers for me so far talk to you later bye